Hold your horses. Let's not take it to the stupid, Terrence Crawford. Hey, matter of fact, I'm going to start calling him Terrence Canelo Crawford. Terrence Crawford out here, just like old Saul. Sour Ool, right? My man is looking to hold up some divisions, in particular that 147. Let me tell you something. If Crawford's going to go to 154, drop the belts. You ain't fighting at 147, drop the goddamn belts. It's like Canelo. If you're not going to fight your mandatories, you want to hold up all them goddamn belts at 168 and bottleneck the division and got it to where people can't fight, give up the belt right now. Stop with the shenanigans. Drop all them belts. You don't need to be undisputed. Same thing with Crawford. You know what? Stop the shenanigans. Drop them goddamn belts. Now, let me do something here real quick, right? Let's take a look at what's going on. Where we at here? Okay. You got Terrence Crawford, man. We all know Terrence Crawford is the man at welterweight. Okay? But he doesn't want to fight Boots. He's not really trying to mix it up with anybody at welterweight right now. When you come down, you take a look at Terrence Crawford, who still has the WBA championship, WBC, and the WBO. You look at his mandatories. He's got Giovanni Santillan for the WBO. He's got, it could be Bar Bar Barrio or Crowley or Sissoko uh, for the WBC. And then Stanley Yunus or this guy Giasal for the WBA. The bottom line is Terrence Crawford's got some mandatories, but nobody really forces the mandatories on him at this time. That's because Terrence Crawford is looking to hold on to those belts, in particular that WBO, and then he wants to bubble up here to 154 and see what happens between Zoo and Keith Thurman. Now, let me tell you what sucks about all this is he doesn't want to give up the goddamn belts because he wants to wait and see what lines up. He wants to make sure he has something locked down uh, to where it's like, okay, before I drop these belts, let me make sure I have something even better going on here because having those belts, it's like bargaining chips, you know what I'm saying? When you really take a look at having those belts that Terrence Crawford has down here at 147 pounds. I still don't quite agree how they did them with the IBF, but at the bottom line, uh, 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 but the bottom line is this. The IBF wasn't playing around. They figured Jerome Boutinus had been in a holding pattern long enough with the long enough with the Earl Spence bullcrap that Terrence Crawford has unfortunately adopted some of Earl Spence's headaches. But when you take a look at what's really there for Terrence Crawford, let me tell you something. He's not dropping those belts because he knows the percentage of the fight purse he'll get going into a fight with any of these guys, okay? Because anyone he fights, there's three belts on the line. And I do think deep down he's looking at fighting Jerron Boutinus and, and the, 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 the opportunity that, that pre presents for him, him having three belts and Jerron having that, that fourth one, that way he can become a three-time undisputed by beating Jerron Boutinus. So I think Terrence Crawford's not dumb. And I think he's looking at that, and he says, you know what, if I can keep these belts – go up and Jerron has to fight his mandatory, then I fight the winner of Zoo and Thurman, then maybe, maybe, just maybe, I decide to fight Boots. Or if that doesn't materialize, my opportunity to fight at one uh, at 154, maybe let's go ahead and fight Boots in this. But I think as every day passes, the realization when it comes to Terrence Crawford and his next fight, I think it's becoming more and more uh, 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 clear to Terrence Crawford that my man, all signs are pointing towards you fighting Jerome Boots in this because you don't have to jump and clear hurdles to get to Boots in this. He's right there, he's got the IBF strap. Go fight him, but we just gotta see if the money's there. And I'm gonna tell you this if, if 60 million was on the table, right? Some people say, Oh, it wasn't put in escrow, there's no proof. Look. If six, this is the same shit that happened with Deontay Wilder and AJ. AJ said, well, give me 50 million. They said, yo, okay, boom, we got 50 million. Sign X, Y, and Z. Oh, it wasn't put in escrow. Where's the proof of funds? No, we tell you, we got the 50 million. We're good. That's kind of what it sounds like happened here with Canelo and David Benavides. 60 million. Okay, where is it? No, we got it. Just sign. Let's make the fight. No, you show me proof that put it in escrow. You want a whole 60 million put in escrow. So... I just, I just think that's kind of a similar situation. But if sixty million was there for David for Canelo as a guarantee, right? No upside. How much money can really be there for Terence Crawford? That's all I'm saying. But nobody, nobody comes into the fight to lose money. No promoter wants to lose money, and it depends on the investor. You know, I mean, 
What's the chance of them making a return on their investment with Canelo fighting David Benavides for undisputed at 168? 60 million? Maybe they make something on top of that. You know, I don't know, but I would think they would. Terrence Crawford, you know, I don't know. Is Terrence Crawford against Boot City is gonna, gonna gonna generate? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, 500, uh, 1 million in pay-per-view sales, 500,000 in pay-per-view sales? I don't know. But when you start talking about Crawford now, who wants to hold on to those belts? Because he's not worried about Santiago. You know, Crawford's not worried about Crowley and Sissoko. He's not worried about uh, Boutiev and uh, Ma Maestri and Giasal. Crawford's not worried about those names. Crawford's worried about Crawford. And just like Canelo is selfish, and Canelo's like, I put in the work. I've earned the right to pick and choose and do what I want. You can see that sanctioning bodies are kind of working with Bud Crawford the same way. Like, hey, you want to hold up the division, champ? Hold up the division. Whatever you want to do, you do. Make sure you're comfortable. We're not going to force you to fight anybody. We already took one belt from your ass. You good. Go out there. If you're going to fight Tim Zhu, uh, the winner of Tim Zhu Thurman, we're cool with that. But the reality is for Terrence Crawford, he's going to have to do something because I just don't think he's going to be afforded this luxury indefinitely kind of like what is going on here with Canelo, where he's been afforded the luxury to pick and choose what he wants and hold on to all those straps. It almost seems indefinitely because they haven't taken that shit from him yet, and it's been years since he even thought about facing his mandatory Benavides, and he's still not facing them. So for Canelo, it boils down to the type of money he brings to the sport of boxing and the sanctioning bodies in the secret society. Crawford doesn't quite do that. But at the same time, he's put in the work. So they're respecting him for, for what he's accomplished and affording him a little bit of flexibility. But I think he's on a very, uh, very, very, very strict timeline. So he got to do something, do something quick before I think the uh, sanction bodies go into motion and, and, and start making him champion of recess or stripping his titles. He's going to have to do something. So I expect an announcement for Terrence Crawford soon and to be a big, big announcement. Will he take a stay busy fight just to check the box on which one of these, um, which one of these belts he has to defend first against a mandatory? Maybe that happens. Maybe he, he has to defend against Santillan, and after that he goes and fights the winner of Thurman and Zhu. I don't know. Maybe he goes at the WBC, Barrios has his daughter or his child, and he fights Barrios, or then he, I don't know, maybe he fights Danny Eunice. I don't know. But but to me, it would seem that before Crawford fights the winner of Thurman Zhu, he would have to defend one of those belts in whatever order that the sanctioned bodies agree to, which belt, which mandatory for which sanctioned body will get the opportunity first at Terrence Crawford, right? I would think after that, if he gets a win, then he would go straight at the winner of Zoo Thurman. But you just never know when it comes to this goddamn boxing. That being said, y'all keep cool. Terrence Canelo Crawford holding up the goddamn division just like Canelo. But both of those guys put the work in, so I'm not surprised in the breeze.